Hey guys, today I want to talk about a meditator going to a strip club. This is me going to a strip club. Now, you need to understand that before me getting into this meditation, practicing all these techniques and, you know, getting attached to universe and nature and all of these things were not part of me. Now, in order for me to get into this different world or different dimension, First, I had to go through a lot of shit, which means that I had to go through um, different sufferings. I wouldn't say it's like a huge suffering, but I would say that I understood suffering and probably understood suffering very early so that I could realize and I could understand, oh, we need to practice meditation so that we can understand suffering and we can understand happiness and we can understand our psychology. So. In order for me to actually get into this meditation process, I had to go through shit, you know, I had to go through some troubles. So today I want to talk about me going to a strip club after, you know, practicing meditation. This is one of my friend's bachelor's party. So we went to a strip club in Rhode Island. And previously, when I used to not meditate and and I used to go to strip club, I used to not think much. I used to go, um, I used to take a lap dance, um, I used to have fun, and I used to come back on my mind. Now, with the meditative mindset, it's a little different. Now, with the meditative mindset, when I went with my friends, and it was a bachelor's party, and uh, most of my friends are, you know, having fun, and I'm there, and I went into the strip club, okay, and there were a couple of ladies who were approaching me, you know, obviously the strip club girls approach you for lap dance and other things. So they were approaching me. So my meditative mindset have changed at that point of time. You know, it's very different now. But at that time, my meditative mind was like, it's just a body, you know, there is no significance between the both energies or it's like, even a lap dance or the conversation, everything is through the form of money. And I have this meditative mindset of not getting even attracted. It can be my mindset or it can be my practice. I'm not sure at that moment. But I went into the strip club and I know this lady coming to me. There were two or three girls who approached me, but I was like, I'm not interested. And uh, most of them were hot. Uh, the strip clubs you have how it goes but this particular lady came to me and then you know at that time I was like like these days like you know I was into too much of questioning too much of talking about meditation and it's all about meditation meditation practice now I changed you know I talk less to people I don't indulge in this conversation if people don't understand I changed I understood that you know, initially, a lot of people, when they get into meditation, it's all about meditation. You know, everything they talk about meditation and they make other people go loco because other people don't understand. And I think I was in that state. And this lady who approached me and she was having conversation with me, I think one of the things I was, I didn't want to waste their time because their time is money and I don't want to waste their time. I want to sit there because it was my friend's party. You know, there was this lady who came to me and I was talking about something, some meditative practice and everything. She was sitting and listening there for like 20, 25 minutes. And and the, her name was called for the pole dance. And that's when she realized, oh my God, I'm wasting my time. And then she, she just like, I had to go and she went away. I'll catch you later. She went away. As soon as she went away and... I came back to my car and I was like, I don't want to disturb anyone. Um, pretending, blocking, observation. Now, once you understand these three points, you'll understand the truth about yourself. So that's why I'm bringing this topic. So I went to a strip club before meditation. I used to not think much, 
you know i should just go have fun come back there's no thinking uh, but after meditation after spirituality comes into you there's a different play happening within your whole body and mind so it's totally different so that's why i'm bringing this topic for spiritual people to understand where you stand and this is a perfect example so first is pretending okay now i went to the strip club not attracted to any of these women i might be pretending i don't remember exactly whether i was pretending at that moment but that's not important what i'm saying is as you go to a strip club you might be really attracted to this hot women but you might be pretending because of your spiritual experience or because of the spiritual things that have been told to you you know you know you cannot be distracted you cannot be attracted to women or you cannot do this or you cannot you know have sexual desires so you've been preached or you've been told by society if you are spiritual you have to be in this manner so you might take those words and you might go to a strip club and you can be pretending that you're not attracted to any of the women so is pretending good i don't think it's good so that's not revealing the truth you're just acting you're just playing you know you are a spiritual person but you can be playing yourself so that's why i brought this topic of strip club which can clearly tell you the truth about yourself now the second thing is the blocking now you can block yourself not even going to strip club you know what i'm saying is you can go to the monasteries you can go to a cave and you can go to a forest and you can surround yourself with nothing but you or the people around you are similar and you are not getting distracted is it going to bring the true reality i don't think so because once this person is brought out of the cave or brought out of the monastery and put into a strip club and put hard girls all around him now the true test comes into play because if you go and sit in a cave you go and sit in a monastery the truth is not revealed you know the truth won't come out because you're blocking yourself from reality you're blocking yourself from the sexual desires which you might possess which is bubbling inside you because you are in this cave you don't understand it you are in this matrix of people around you or the environment around you you're surrounded with cannot influence you you know so if you are put into a test of taking you from that environment where nobody can disturb you into a strip club surrounded with hot girls the true test comes into play so blocking yourself maybe this person can go there and pretend so pretending and blocking will not tell you the truth about yourself you cannot get the truth by pretending and blocking okay the third thing i want to talk about is observation okay and this is what i want to do i go to a strip club i see hot women and i want to really know am i getting horny or am i getting attracted to this women or my sexual desires are coming up i want to observe it's it's not about getting attracted it's about observation if i am truly attracted to those women i'm not pretending or not blocking myself i'm going to go i'm going to meet that women i'm going to do whatever it takes and do the stuff what i want to do there and have observation on my sexual desires because only observation will take away blocking and pretending and bring the truth so if you're truly not attracted the observation will tell you that you're not truly attracted it's natural that you're truly not attracted if you're truly ag- attracted to those women around you the observation will tell you 
that you are truly attracted. There is no pretending happening because you're a spiritual person because you've been told that oh, you shouldn't be getting attracted. This is in your mind and the mind is kind of blocking you from going there or getting attracted. The mind is kind of blocking you from your true nature. So in order for you to understand your true nature, I think the best possible way is to understand observation. So observing is more important than blocking and pretending. If you have true sexual desires, do not pretend or do not block it. Observe it. And once you observe it, it's naturally going to fade away. Eventually, it's going to fade away. And how it's going to fade away? And why it's going to fade away? Because you don't need this desire for happiness. And you'll understand it. So that's what I want to talk about. And this is a perfect example. <laughs> Going to a strip club is a perfect example for you to understand the true nature. You know, the true test for a spiritual person. So if you are a spiritual, if you are spiritually inclined, if you... <laughs> Um, are meditating on daily basis, go to a strip club. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But, you know, eventually, if you, want, if you want to understand your true nature, you need to put yourself in a true test and see for yourself. Hopefully, this video helps you. Have a blessed day. Thank you. Man.